Welcome. Today we're going to a market. Uh, it's called Tianguis El Salado. Salado. Tianguis El Salado, I think, is what it's called. And um, I think this place is probably one of the biggest markets in Mexico. I was there a few weeks ago and it's huge. Like, uh, like several miles by several miles of just stalls and whatnot. So I'm going to be trying to show you guys what the uh, Mexican market experience looks like. And uh, I also need to pick up a few things for my place. So uh, I'll be showing you guys some prices and whatnot, eating some good food. They generally have uh, food and stuff at those places as well. So uh, this place is only open on Wednesdays. So I got to go get going. And uh, I think it'll be an interesting experience. So stay tuned. So we're here. It's pretty busy, so I hope you can hear me okay. Um, now, you're going to see a lot of really random things in these shops. Reason being, from what people tell me, is on the outskirts of these markets especially, like over here, um, a lot of the stuff sold is stolen. Um, and it kind of looks that way too, because you know, you'll see some guy uh, with a stand, and he'll be selling cell phones, and then also car starters, and also, you know, just random, random things. In the city of Mexico, there are approximately 420 tianguis. Anteriormente, ofrecían artículos de primera necesidad. En la actualidad, se han convertido en puntos de venta de alcohol adulterado. Sus pasillos son utilizados como antros callejeros que se prestan para el consumo de drogas. En el Tianguis El Salado, ubicado en los límites de la delegación Iztapalapa o en el Estado de México, en la colonia Santa Marta, Acatitla, encontramos otros artículos de dudosa procedencia o robados. Este tianguis comenzó a instalarse en 1975. Tiene 42 años ofreciendo diversos artículos. Comenzamos a recorrerlo por Calzada Ignacio Zaragoza y Avenida Texcoco. De los primeros artículos que encontramos fueron celulares. Tan solo unos pasos adelante nos ofrecen electrodomésticos al mayoreo, como licuadoras, planchas, hornos y otros artículos de cocina. Hi, this is the next day. I'm editing the video. Um... I want to say that this video you clip you just watched, you should take it with a grain of salt. I think that this was blown out of proportion. So the stolen goods problem is, is very real in this place, um, but I don't think it's quite as prevalent as this uh, clip made it out to be. I'd say most of the sellers there, probably 75, 80% of them were completely legit, le legitimate from what I could tell, right? Obviously you'll never know for sure. Um, with that being said, there were definitely um, um, vendors that sold stolen sold stolen goods and if you are somebody who's stealing stolen or stealing stuff in Isapalapa this is the place you'd go to sell those things right um, so I just wanted to pro provide the context there also Isapalapa which is the um, part of the state of Mexico which is right outside of Mexico it's basically Mexico City this part of Mexico City um, is really known for crime um, stolen uh, robbings I guess uh, in drugs, actually, in drug usage, which is um, a more rare thing in Mexico. Usually they have the cartel problem, but drug usage isn't as prevalent. Well, this is a section that's known for those things. So I just wanted to provide the whole, whole context there and say, take this with a grain of salt. Um, and then there's also these more crowded sections over here. So I'm gonna put, about to put my mask on, you know, being cautious and whatnot. Excuse me, excuse me. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be, but I'm going to be holding on to this camera pretty tightly and uh, we'll see what we can find. I'm not really sure what I'm looking for. As you see, these sorts of places are where people go for anything from clothes to car parts to cleaning supplies. Uh, so yeah, it's a bit crowded. I'd say the benefits, 
one of the pros. Love you. Huh? ¿Qué quieres? A ver. Hoy tienes unos de esos, uh, pero grandes. Grandísimos. A ver. Ah. ¿Qué grabas, güero? Es como, yo es como 12 o 13. Ajá. Así todo. Ah, sí, ok. Pero... ¿Por 100? Ah, es poco caro, ¿no? No, ¿qué pasó, papi? Está bien ¿Eh? barato. Son 12 piezas. ¿12? 12. Son Sí, como, como 6 pares, ¿no? Son, no, son 12 pares. ¿12 pares? Ajá. 100, no creo. Ah. ¿Cómo están? A 100, padre, no así. No, tomes. A ah, 70, dos? ¿no? Así. 70. 70, así. Así. Ajá. Por algo, tres. Son seis pares. Seis. O, o la docena en cien. Pues no, no necesito tantos. Como. Uh, ¿Qué te parece a sesenta por tres? Por uh, a, a seis. Así dos. Por seis. Sí. ¿60? ¿Cuáles quieres? ¿Blancos o color? Uh, si tienes blancos, pero ¿Blancos? Como, sí tienes blancos, pero grandes, como así. Ajá. No, estaban buenos, pero no. ¿Así de este baño? Ajá, sí, está bien. Pero son grandes como sí, sí, sí. sí. ¿Cómo están? ¿Cómo están? Ajá. ¿De qué grabas, güero? ¿Mandé? ¿Estás haciendo un programa? ¿Mandé? ¿Estás haciendo un programa? Ah, sí, sí, un vídeo. ¿Dónde salió? ¿Tienes cambio, cambio por sí, 500? Ajá. ¿Cómo está este? ¿Cuál? Aquí salgo yo, ¿qué? Okay. Sí. Estoy grabando. Sí, gracias. ¿Mandé? ¡Barato, barato! ¿Dónde se fue? Sí, gracias. There we go. So I just bought six pairs of socks for three dollars. I think it's kind of expensive, but um, <laughs> guys shouting on my YouTube channel now, I guess. So that's a that's a uh, good investment, I suppose. <laughs> So there's no, no space to walk, and uh, if you're tall like me, you gotta watch your head everywhere. But uh, I like how it's uh, it's more chill here than markets I've been to in other countries, where people are try constantly trying to sell you things and whatnot. Generally, if somebody offers something to you, and you say, "Oh no, thank you," or you know, you say, "No, oh no, no, thank you," or "I'm not interested," they leave you alone. You know. Um, unlike other places in Asia where nobody leaves you alone, ever. <laughs> Oye, ¿tienes unos de esos pero grandes? Eso del gris. A ver. O como extra grande tal vez. Sí, sería un extra grande. Ah, sí. Y el arjo. Sí, están bien. ¿Cuánto quieres por eso? 300. ¿300? Ay, no manches, güey. Es caro. Es nuevo. No, es nuevo, sí, sí, pero es como yo sé también los, uh, los grandes son más baratos, sí. Al contrario, sí, pero no, sí, casi no hay, pero no hay gente aquí como yo. Sí. Ah, pues no me interesa, pero gracias, gracias. Uy, 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 no. Ah, they wanted fifteen dollars for the. You know, fifteen dollars for the sweatpants. I think that's kind of expensive. So yeah, they were, I don't know. Maybe not because he he didn't try to lower the price after I try to give him about it. But I don't know. For me, it's expensive. Um, a lot of these. So what I was saying earlier uh, about the big ones being uh, cheaper is that uh, that's what everybody tells me at least. Is that all the the bigger clothes um, are cheaper because what happens is, like you see these tables over here, 
um, where there's just people sorting through various different clothes. Well, these clothes are from the United States, um, from I think like thrift shops or whatever, uh, donation stands, and then people come to sell them here in Mexico. Um, but the thing is, see there's no light. The thing is, I'm six foot, right? I'm six foot 220 about. So I'm cute, I feel like Shaq walking around here, right? So everybody tells me that the clothes that are bigger that should fit me are cheaper because there's no demand for them, right? And, uh, and all the smaller stuff goes really easily. But I don't know, I, regardless, I think the, the pants look nice, but I think $15 is a bit much to pay for those. Uh, see? Uh, see, uh, verde, por favor. Uh, one of my favorite parts about going to these markets, something I always do, is get a big cup of uh, horchata for uh, 20 pesos. This one in particular is really good. Sometimes uh, they don't have a whole lot of, I had one the other day that wasn't very good, but this one's really good. Oye, ¿tienes unos pantalones como así, pero grandes? O tal vez como esos? En ese estilo no, joven, sería lo único. ¿Mande? Sería lo único, en tallas medianas. ¿Es la único? Sí. Ah, ok. Por ejemplo, tengo los que son grandes, pero medianas. Sí, pues, sí, podría verlos como, o eso sí, también. A ver, pues son por yo, sí. Ajá. Sí, creo, está. ¿A cuántos quieres por esos? ¿200? Ahí no. Uy. Ah, gracias. Sí, gracias. Mira, pon acá, hermano, pon acá. ¿Mande? Ajá. Sí, vamos a hacer. Es bastante caro, pero es más que quiero pagar. Como. Tal vez conseguir más caro más allá adelante. ¿Mande? Yo allá adelante estar más caro. Eh, pues está bien. Ah, ¿por qué te parece 150 pesos? Ah, el hermano quería precio. No, ¿no qué? ¿No puedes? Ah, ok. Está vas a regresar, vas a ver. Ah, ok, está bien. Gracias. No, no son tan importantes, pero sí busco. Gracias. Yeah, you see what I mean, though. They try to sell you for a minute, and then they're like, oh, okay, dude's not interested. They kind of leave you alone. So I like that compared to uh, compared to Asia, where I can't go anywhere. <laughs> That's the other thing. <laughs> Everyone's calling out to me. They're like, hey, white guy. <laughs> Uh, that was fun. But uh, yeah, I was saying, compared to Asia, where uh, you know they try to sell you things. I've, in Asia, I've had little people literally like follow me around, trying to sell me stuff. I see, there's another one. Oh, ¿Cuántos son los uh, pantalones? ¿Mande? Ah, no sé, como gris. No, no importa la marca a mí, sí. Cien cincuenta. Ajá. Ah, okay. Tienes uh, esos como gris, pero grandes, o oh, a ver si queda. Let's see, so my camera battery just died when I was at the market. I recorded this part um, there with my phone, but it was uh, really loud, so I'm recording it again back at the house. Um, so what do we learn from this experience? So, let's see. Let's see, pros and cons, right? Pros, prices are pretty good, right? Um, I paid three dollars for some socks, which I honestly think I could have found them cheaper, but whatever. It's three dollars, right? Uh, paid like seven bucks for some sweatpants, which I think is pretty good. And uh, Nike, you know, they're fake, obviously, but it's just it is what it is, you know. Um, if they last me a while, then cool, you know. And if not, seven dollars. Um, let's see what else. People are generally pretty friendly, um, as you kind of saw. Um, Obviously, I kind of stick out there, but um, also I don't think people really try to scam you or anything like that with the prices. Like, uh, I think some of those other places, like the other place that wanted 300 pesos for for the sweatpants, I think that might have just been his prices. You know what I mean? It's just whatever his profit margin is. You know, um, it, it's not outrageous like again some places in Asia. Speaking of Asia, it's quiet. No, no, 
it's not quiet but it's it's pretty chill as far as like people are selling stuff but they're not bothering you they're not harassing you like they are in Asia you know so I, I really like the experience you know there's good food good prices um, cons it's it's uh, really crowded really crowded it's a really good place to catch the coronavirus if you want to um, <laughs> but it's really crowded and I have to duck like basically everywhere I'm walking around like this all the time which is not comfortable but you know it, it is what it is take the good with the bad let's see I was still looking for like a few forks a few plates or something for my, my place here like some basic stuff just to make uh, cooking like a bit easier and perhaps I could uh, maybe some dish soap something like that you know I didn't find any but I, I'm sure I could have just found it but it's just uh, the prices at these, at these places are good it's just a matter, matter of finding what you need right so like because the place is huge right especially that one we just went to it's like miles by miles like square I'm covering the camera like a idiot um, so it's just a matter of finding what you need right um, there's another market that's just down here like uh, a mile or so from my house that I'm gonna go to tomorrow probably to look through those things um, because it's just open on Thursdays um, so yeah it's a pretty good experience hope you got a little glimpse into what that's like and uh, I I'd ex yeah it's a, it's a good, a good place to buy thing I think it's like like I said it's the best prices um, that you can find for generally generally for things but um, you gotta find it because you might be walking for half an hour or something before you find what you're looking for. So, you gotta take the good with the bad, I suppose. But yeah, subscribe if you wanna see more videos from Mexico. I like to do more stuff like this. Um, I'm trying to get some interviews planned too. Um, there's a few perspectives I wanna look into. People are kinda shy here. They're really friendly, but they're kinda shy with new people. So, I'm struggling a little bit with that, but uh, I'm working on that. So, look forward to that. Have a good day.